The night before we were to go color radio, which is what I call the station, um, uh, I locked my, well, the audience thought <clears throat> that this young jerk who wanted to be on the radio had somehow found his way to the control room, and they had no idea the audience, I was assuming, didn't know what a radio station was really like. Uh, so, uh, but basically I was imagining the radio station I'd just come from, where you played all the records yourself and did everything else. So, uh, I pretended that this young kid had locked himself into the radio station and uh, was pretending to be a big time DJ. But he only had one record and he kept playing over and over again. And uh, uh, there was a fellow by the name of George J who was a very successful record promotion man in LA. Matter of fact, he helped me get the interview. He helped get me the interview, which got me the job. And uh, so I asked him to find the worst record he could find. And he found this record called Sweetie Pie. And it was terrible. And it was this guy singing, Hey, hey, Sweetie Pie, oh, Sweetie Pie. And it was terrible. It was terrible, but I had that record, or I, I, so I, anyway, the whole idea was this kid was locked in there and nobody could get in, and uh, so for all of those hours before from about, oh, I think, I don't know, maybe noon the day before, I'm not sure about the hours, I was on the air all by myself doing all of these things, and now Gogi Grant entertains you with somewhere there's music and then I sweetie five would come on well this was it got more attention than anything that I ever ever done uh, the police came to the station well first of all I had the DJs who were going to be there knocking on the window and shouting to me and so forth and knocking on the door get out of there you bum and so forth and uh, and the one says, uh, no, 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 this is the police. Actually, it wasn't the police. It was Robert Purcell, the, uh, the guy who hired me. Come out of there immediately or you'll be sent to jail. And uh, so he was then told, well, eventually the real police came. <laughs> and Bob Purcell had a, had a little trouble keeping them out of there. <laughs> uh, oh, God, it was, it, was, it was incredible. And so I stayed on the air right up until 6 o'clock in the morning on New Year's Day of 1958. 58, a long time ago. Um, and then our morning guy, Bruce Hayes, came on the air. Good morning. This is Color Radio. 